Hello, this video is another video for a question that could appear on a Willamette Promise exam. It is essentially an atomic mass calculation, however there's one part of it that's a little tricky um, that's different than the examples we've done so far in class. So this question reads, element Y has two natural isotopes, Y63, which has a mass of 62.940 AMU, and Y65, which has a mass of 64.928 AMU, calculate the atomic mass of element Y given the abundance of Y63 is 69.17%. All right, so element Y, just keep in mind, element Y, it's not telling you what the element is. It could be a real element, um, but it's just giving us a mystery element here, so you can't just use the periodic table to look up masses and kind of guess and check that way. So what I'm going to do first is kind of color code our information. You do not have to do this, but I just want to point out how you could organize everything here. So we have Y63, here's its mass, and actually it also says Y63 with its abundance. So I'm going to put here, I'm going to put um, Y63 has the mass of 62.940 AMU and it's 69.17%. If you need help on just setting up a basic atomic mass calculation, remember there's a tutorial video for that, so you can go back and find that one before you work on this uh, more complicated one. And then we have Y65, so it's a different isotope. And remember, this is one where it gives you exact masses, so you do want to use the exact masses. If it didn't, then you could use the um, these mass numbers here. Um, and here's the problem that we run into. What is the percent abundance of Y65? We know that we need to um, plug that number into our equation, right? We usually do the mass times the percentage as a decimal plus the mass times the percentage as a decimal. We add those together and we get a weighted average, which is our atomic mass. But we have the issue here that we are missing a percentage problem, or maybe not. All right, so think about, you are given the percentage of all of these isotopes. Let's see, it's, it's telling you that there are only two isotopes, right? So there's this isotope and there's this isotope. Together, they make all of the isotopes. So if you have the percentages, what should the percentages add up to? They should add up to 100, right? So what we can do to find the missing percentage, since we have one of them, is just do 100 minus the percentage we're given, and we get this percentage, 30.83. Ah, now it looks like a problem that we've done before. We have a mass and a percentage, a mass and a percentage. So now we can just plug this into our weighted average formula. That is the trickiest part about this problem. So now that we have that, I can just start setting up our calculation. So I'm going to take the first mass, multiply it by our percent abundance, but I'm going to move the decimal here. Okay. And we're going to add that to the Y65 information. Uh, turn that into a decimal. Alright, so now we type this into our calculator. So we do that 62.940, zero doesn't really matter for your calculator, times, remember we can just type this all in as one, and you should do it that way, 6917 plus 64.928 times 0 0.3083 equals this number. And for the numbers that we should write down, um, since both of these masses go to three decimal places, again, we'll talk about this later in the year, but we want our answer to go to three decimal places. So we're going to do 63.55. Three. This will get rounded up because it's followed by a 9. And we always have to have units. So in this case, 
AMU. Um, and then usually when we finish an atomic mass problem, I always have you check your answer because where are all of the answers for atomic mass? They're on your periodic table. So we can actually see 63. Remember, this was a, a mystery element, element Y. But if we check our periodic table, um, it actually is on here, 63.55, really close to our answer of 63.553. Um, so if a question were to ask what element do you think it is, then you could say, oh, it's probably copper, right? Atomic mass is very, very close to copper. So once you get that initial tricky part out of the way, determining this missing percentage, then it's a pretty straightforward atomic mass calculation. So just remember, you could even do this even if it gave you three different isotopes um, because you could just use the idea that they should all add up to 100 to figure out the missing percentages. All right, good luck with that.